My name is Aditi and we are in Boston, Massachusetts. What is your favorite food, Aditi? Uh, Maggie. What is it? Maggie. Maggie noodles? <laughs> um, Samir, can you tell us where you're from? I'm from New Jersey. Awesome. What's your name? My name is Rico. Oh. Nice to meet you, Vikram. And where do you live? Where do you live? So you live in Maryland? I live in Maryland. This is Atika, and I stay in Jaipur. That, so I'll be teaching you some craft. Who loves craft? Yay, I can see many hands. So in this class, we are going to get to know this little blue boy uh, who knows what is this blue boy's name? Anika. His name is Krishna. Yes. Krishna means dark. He's a dark, dark blue. And he has so many names. Now, uh, just unmute yourself and tell me if you know any of his other names. Does anyone know another name for Krishna? Anika? Yes, uh, he comes as Ram, and his brother's name is also Ram, Balaram. His name is Ram. Okay, Samir, uh, sorry, I think, yes, Samir, tell me. This is Lakshmi, Vish, and Vaish. Can you unmute yourself and tell me if I got it right? Hare Krishna. Uh, so, is are these your names, Lakshmi, Vish, and Vaish? I'm Vishnav. Vaishnav. Vishnav and Vaishnav. Did I get it? Yeah, you got it right. Okay. So nice to meet you, Vishnav and Vaishnav and Lakshmi. Uh, would you tell us, please, where you live? I think that's Chicago. Chicago. You're in Chicago. Central time. So this is early for you guys. Yeah. Wait. I think the rest of us are in EST. Well, I finish an hour of class. Mm-hmm. Okay, so everyone so far told us what their favorite food is. And so now it's your turn. Food is dosa and idli. Huh? Dosa oh. and idli. Oh yeah. Do you ever have idli with melted butter on top? Huh? Yes? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I like gulab jamun. You like gulab jamun. Good choice. I love it too. And samosa. I love ice cream and samosa. Okay, and... Vaishnav. Are you the one who spoke? Right. Vimai Prabhu, you're here too. Yeah, Vimai Prabhu. The one who brought us all together. Thank you, Nimai Prabhu, for bringing us all together. Sure. This shape with your hands. And you put your hands on your knees. I'm just going to move my video so you can see. Like this. I'm sure you have seen some yogis who sit like that, right? Some pictures of yogis, and they're like this. And it's not just to look cool, although it does look cool. This finger is connected to your brain, and when you touch it with this thumb, it helps you to focus. And if you close your, if if it's still hard to concentrate, sometimes when you close your eyes, you can make the pictures of the story in your mind. But we'll have pictures on the computer as well. So the tradition, before we start to tell a story about Krishna, 
especially when that story comes from a very old and extremely important book called the Bhagavad Purana. So the tradition before we speak about Krishna is we say a mantra and many of you might know this mantra or maybe you heard it but you never learned it um, and we are going to say this mantra um, three times. First I will say it and then you can say it and I think we can unmute everyone's mic so that we can hear everyone say it together. So first I will say it and then you will say it, then I will say it, then you will say it, and I will say it, and then you will say it. So it will be three times each, so a total of six. Okay, so when you're sitting like this, with your hands in this position, pressing on your knees, Excellent. Now, it's a little bit long to remember the whole thing, but we are going to say it all the way through because by the end of these classes, I am 100% sure that you will all have this mantra memorized. All right. Again. into the realm of the stories of Krishna. So this story starts with our mother Earth. Now if any of you remembers the name of our mother Earth in our Vedic scriptures, Anika, do you know her name? But two letters correct. Really close. Looks like Vishnab. No, that Vaish is Vaish Bhumi Devi. Bhumi Devi. Bhumi Devi. Yes. Bhumi Devi starts this story. And Bhumi Devi is in distress. Bhumi Devi has to hold all the mountains. So she can carry such heavy weight. Right? And she, hold, she holds all the mountains and all the oceans. But what is very heavy for her are demons and unkind people, cruel people. And when these cruel people become more and more powerful and they become kings and they get armies, then Mother Earth feels the burden of these armies and weapons and cruel things. So the beginning of this story is 5,000 years ago when Mother Earth was feeling this weight. Now this is before Kali Yuga. Does anyone know what is Kali Yuga? You can raise your hand if you know, otherwise I'll tell you. It looks like Samir knows what is Kali Yuga. The yuga we are now. The yuga yes. we are in now. This yuga we are in now. Because, when you hear this story, we have so many kings now. They have too many weapons. We're fighting wars that they don't need to fight. And the earth feels that heaviness. But now, Kali Yuga is like a winter. And every uh, yuga cycle, you have Satya Yuga, that is like spring. We have Treta Yuga, that is like summer. We have Vapala Yuga, that is like autumn. And we have Kali Yuga, that is like winter. 
I'm sure all of you have snow in the place that you have winter. Yes? Where in the place that you live? When it's winter, you have snow. But imagine if you get snow in September or October. That's not good, right? When the leaves are still on the trees, that's not good. So even though we have this darkness, tell you, when that darkness comes too early, and Kumi Devi has, uh, goes transforms cow. into a cow and goes so to visit I want to show Brahma because he is the highest being of the universe. He is the most intelligent. He does not have a body made out of earth and water and air like we have. He has a body that it is made out of intelligence. And he has four brains. And Mommy Davy came to ask him, can you please help me? These demons, they're fighting wars, and there's so much destruction and violence, and it hurts his voice bellowed. Come sa. You are driving your sister's chariot. But you are a fool. You don't know that her eighth born child will kill you. Power? One of his greatest powers is that he can travel anywhere. He can even go to Vaikuntha, outside of this universe. He can go and visit Vishnu. Who okay. knows? Vishnu, what? tell me. What is that? Oh, sorry. Okay, bye. That arm, that is the Sudarshana Chakra. That's right, that's Sudarshana oh. Chakra. And Yashoda was so tired from giving birth that she did not wake up when Vasudev put Krishna in the place of that little baby girl. And next morning, when she woke up, no one could remember if she had a boy or a girl. They were so tired when the baby was born. And all of these devas, they could understand that Vishnu has come. And Vishnu has come into the belly of Devaki. What a special woman. What a lucky, lucky lady. She is seems just like an ordinary princess. But she has the creator of everything into a goddess with 10 arms with all kinds of weapons and she pointed at him she said come sa she laughed at him come sa you thought you could kill me <laughs> you could never kill me i am durga i am krishna's sister he was already born somewhere else. Do you think that it would be okay for Kamsa to to kill his sister to prevent his own death? He is just saving himself. It is nothing against his sister. He's just saving himself. Do you think that that's okay? That. You know, we have to protect ourselves also. So is it okay to harm someone else or protect ourselves? I wonder. And in the ethics code of Yorma, you're not allowed to kill In the code of Dharma, you are not allowed to? You're not allowed to kill women, especially your own sister. That's awful, the rhyme, right? Phrase, the rhyme says, It was Devaki and Vasudev's wedding day. I'll drive your chariot, Kamsa says. The procession included horses and elephants, while many bands played musical instruments. Devaki was decked up with gold jewelry. Everyone moved forward happily. Suddenly, a loud voice 
eyes were broad from the sky. At the hands of your eighth child, you will die. Anger comes up full that they will keep here. Vasudev pleaded, but Kamsa didn't care. Vasudev's words were wise and clear, but Kamsa wasn't ready to hear. Devaki and Vasudev were mercilessly thrown into a jail cell with walls of stone. Ignoring the cries of father and mother, Kamsa killed six children one after the another. Balaram, the seventh child, was born in a special way. But Yogmaya's power, he was carried away. Soon after it was time for Lord to appear, Devaki looked beautiful and felt no fear. There was no fear. The saints and the sages all gathered there. They offered many wonderful prayers. Let us try to understand the Lord's birth and activities by hearing His pastimes and singing His glories. Did you like the rhyme? Did you like, I the, like rhyme? the rhyme? I like the rhyme. I love the rhyme. No, I love the rhyme too. <laughs> yes, that's the gist of the birth of the Krishna. So, if if your clay is not fixing up, you can apply a glue, Elmer's glue. Oh my God, that's amazing! That's amazing, amazing, amazing! I love your Krishna. Aditi, you have made it so, so, so beautiful, right? See, so Aditi's version of Krishna is something like that. And my version of Krishna is like that. Oh, so what do you think? Now, can you see how many imaginative Krishnas? Because Krishna is everywhere. He is in, is in. Uh, but he's also greedy for our attention. And wow, beautiful, Anirudh. You gave him oh the my God, that's amazing. That's wonderful. So Krishna is thanking you, and I'm thanking you for your attention. And on Friday, we'll have our next class, and we will hear what happens next. What does Kamsa do when... Yes, what does the Coming up on Friday. Yes. And with the new, new craft activity. Yes. And those of you who didn't finish, like uh, Lakshmi Vish and Vaish, you can show us your Krishnas at the beginning of our next class. All right? Teacher. Okay. Okay. Namaste. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.